The Coastal Management Program for the Shoalhaven Open Coastline and Jervis Bay is now in public exhibition. The CMP has been prepared by Shoalhaven City Council with funding and technical assistance from the New South Wales Department of Planning and Environment. The purpose of the CMP is to set a strategic, integrated 10-year plan for the management of the coastline. It will address current and future threats to the coast and maintain and enhance the social and cultural values of our coastal zone. It will also allow Council to seek grant funding for projects that will provide tangible benefits to local communities. This CMP is one of many being delivered by Shoalhaven City Council. CMPs are also currently in development for the Lower Shoalhaven River, Lake Conjola, and the estuaries of Sussex Inlet, St George's Basin, Swan Lake and Barara Creek. There are also a range of other coastal zone areas that will have a CMP developed for them at a later date. This CMP covers the 165 kilometres of open coastline of the Shoalhaven local government area. It stretches from Shoalhaven Heads in the north to North Durris Beach in the south and includes Jervis Bay. A particular focus of the CMP is council managed beaches and their adjacent headlands. This CMP does not cover the Jervis Bay Federal Territory or any area covered by another CMP. One of the goals of the CMP is to enhance our resilience to the natural hazards that affect our coastline. These include storm erosion and long-term shoreline recession, coastal cliff and slope instability, waterway entrance instability, coastal storm tide inundation, and sunny day king tide inundation. The CMP has considered the impact of these coastal hazards over a forward 100 year planning period that accounts for future impacts of climate change and sea level rise. The CMP also has a number of other goals including maintaining public safety and the recreational amenity of our beaches, managing our unique and diverse coastal environment, and protecting the indigenous cultural heritage of the coastal zone. CMPs are developed in a five stage process that is set out in the state government's coastal management manual. The first stage involves a review of all available information and then setting a plan for the remaining stages. In stage two, a detailed assessment was undertaken of the various risks, vulnerabilities and opportunities along the coastline. Stage three then involved the identification and evaluation of options to address those risks. And in stage four, which is where we are now, all of this information has been pulled together into a coordinated 10 year program. After this, the next stage, stage five, Will involve implementing the program. While developing this CMP, Shoalhaven City Council has consulted heavily with the local community, state government agencies and local First Nations groups. The development of this CMP has included a thorough review of what has and hasn't worked well in the past, what's working well in similar locations, and the input of the community and stakeholders. The CMP has also made use of industry leading expertise in coastal management and coastal engineering. When evaluating potential management actions, three key criteria need to be considered. The first is feasibility. This involves investigating how effective a potential action may be and whether it will have positive or negative impacts on other parts of the coast. The second criteria is economic viability. This involves investigating whether an action will be cost effective and is able to be funded.
The third key criteria is determining whether an action is acceptable to the community and stakeholders. Following on from the community values survey undertaken during stage one of the CMP, extensive community engagement was undertaken again in stage three. This included gauging support from the community for potential management actions and harnessing community suggestions for additional management actions. Engagement methods included a series of community drop-in sessions and the use of online engagement tools. The community drop-in sessions were very well attended with over 120 community members attending across the seven sessions held across the Northern, Central and southern areas of the LGA. Similarly, the online engagement reportal received responses from over 540 individuals and included 1,500 individual submissions of feedback. This community feedback was used to help rank and prioritise actions that went into the CMP. It was also used to derive suggestions for new management actions, which were reviewed by Council and the project team, with numerous instances of these suggestions being included in the CMP. Council has provided a closing the loop document, which provides responses to all submissions received in stage three. In stage four, all of this information is pulled together into a detailed program that outlines all of the actions that Council will undertake over a future 10 year period. For each action, the CMP document includes a map that shows the location of the works, a description of the works, the roles and responsibilities for undertaking the action, costs and available funding mechanisms, the priority and timing of the works, and key performance measures. The CMP document includes seven overarching strategies for managing the coast. These include individual strategies for governance and management, community and stakeholder engagement, land use planning and adaptation, protection of the coastal environment and cultural heritage, asset management, and emergency planning and response. These overarching strategies will allow Council to think strategically, be consistent in their approach, and be organised and efficient in their delivery of coastal management. The CMP also includes four local area action plans that each detail actions that need to be implemented at a local level. The four plans cover the Northern LGA, from Shoalhaven Heads to Kurrawong Beach, the Jervis Bay area, the central LGA from Cudmore Beach to Ulladulla Harbour, and the southern LGA from Rennies Beach to North Durris Beach. These local area action plans will allow council to tackle local issues, be targeted in their response, and address issues in a detailed way at a local level. Together, these overarching strategies and local area action plans provide a detailed program for managing the coastline over the next 10 years. To have your say, visit Shoalhaven City Council's Get Involved page for the project. Here, you can access the CMP document and provide your comments and feedback to Council. The public exhibition period is open until the 2nd of February 2024.